Hi, my name's Professor Greta Petzl, and I'm going to answer a really important question that you asked about does climate change impact our day-to-day -day life? Changes over time, like increases in temperature or changes in sea level, they might be really hard for us as individuals to detect. So you might think that climate change isn't actually impacting our day-to-day -day life, but it does. And I'll explain just a few of the ways that that happens. Climate change is leading to an increase in what we call extreme events, things like heat waves and floods and droughts, for example. And it's these kinds of events that are already affecting us now. You've probably heard on the news or seen on the internet about all of the extreme flooding that many parts of Australia has experienced this year and in the previous few years as well. Now, Australia has always had floods and other extreme events in the past, so it can be a bit tricky in some cases to say whether or not a particular flood is due to climate change. But what we do know is that these kinds of events are much more likely under climate change and they're more likely to be major when they do happen. With each degree of warming, for example, the atmosphere holds 7% more moisture. So as it gets warmer, there's literally more water in the atmosphere to be involved in weather that leads to flooding. So when these kinds of events happen, they are obviously of big concern to the people that are directly affected, but these events don't even need to happen in the same state as us for us to be affected as well. So for example, in the recent floods, because so many farms were affected, the price of some fruits and vegetables skyrocketed. You might have heard your parents talking about how much lettuce cost, for example. So if you were the one buying the groceries, you would have absolutely noticed that. So the increases in extreme events can also impact things like insurance. When, when you live in or you own a house, you usually pay a relatively small amount each year to an insurance company to have it insured against things like floods or fires. So that if something happens to your house or to your stuff, um, in something like an extreme event, um, you, can, you can have that replaced and you can afford to replace those things. But as the number of these events increases and how much damage each of those events increases, the cost of insurance has gone up in many areas of Australia. So it's costing us much more to insure our houses. But it's also important to remember that although we're already experiencing climate change now, it is also the changes we make, we make now that will really help us address climate change in the long run. And that'll help us reduce the impacts of climate change in the future. And there's lots of things that we can do as individuals or together in groups uh, to try and reduce greenhouse emissions and to adapt to some of these new conditions. So check out some of the suggestions of things that we can all do on the Curious Climate Schools website.